All right, welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 622. The category will be Jurassic Park 1, 2, and 3. So, not the most recent versions of Jurassic Park, but the original three, the original trilogy back in the 90s and early 2000s. That's what these questions are over. There will be 20 questions plus a 21 tiebreaker at the end. Good luck. Question 1. Joe Johnston directed 2001's Jurassic Park 3. What was the name of the executive producer of Jurassic Park 3 who served as the director on both Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park The Lost World? The director of the first two was Steven Spielberg. Question 2. The scene was described by Empire Magazine as the 28th most magical moment in cinema. In the first Jurassic Park film, what is the first full dinosaur seen by the park's visitors as well as the movie audience? So this isn't the little glimpse at the very beginning of the movie, it's the first full dinosaur. It was a Brachiosaurus. Question 3. Much to the dismay of Lex and intrigue of Tim, during the vehicle tour of the park, what animal is used as bait to lure the T-Rex closer to the fence for a better view for the guests? They use a goat. Question 4. In the Jurassic Park novel, it was a stegosaurus, but in the first movie, the tour group comes across what type of dinosaur that is sick and lying in a field? The answer is a Triceratops. Question number five. In the original Jurassic Park, at the beginning of the trial tour, while pulling up to the massive gates outside the park, what movie does Ian Malcolm make a reference to? He makes a reference to the King Kong films. Question number six. What brand was the modified shaving cream can that Dennis Nedry was supposed to use to safely smuggle dinosaur embryos from Jurassic Park located on Isla Nubar? The brand of shaving cream was Barbasol. Question number seven. What animal do the scientists at Jurassic Park use the DNA from in order to fill the gaps in the dinosaur DNA sequence, which allows the dinosaurs to breed in the wild? They use frog DNA. Question number eight. In both Jurassic Park 1 and 2, what actor plays Ian Malcolm, the cocky mathematician with notable quotes like, life escapes all barriers, life breaks free, life expands to new territories, painfully, perhaps even dangerously, but life finds a way. His name is Jeff Goldblum. Question number nine. In the Lost World, 
What do Nick and Sarah bring into the trailers that motivate the Tyrannosaurus Rexes to attack the research group and push the trailers off the cliff? The answer is the baby T-Rex. Question number 10. A chain of islands 200 miles southwest of Costa Rica. Isla Matanceros, Isla Muerta, Isla Pena, Isla Sorna, and Isla Tacano are all on the archipelago that is known by the locals as what? It's called Las Cinco Muertas, or the Five Deaths. Question number 11. In The Lost World, there were several new faces to the franchise, including Julianne Moore, who played Dr. Sarah Harding, and what famous comic actor who played the photographer Nick Van Owen? The answer is Vince Vaughn. Question number 12. In the films, what is the name of the bioengineering startup company founded by John Hammond that performs research to recreate extinct animals with the aim to clone those creatures and showcase them in Jurassic Park? The company that runs all that is Engine. Question 13. Jurassic Park, the original motion picture soundtrack, is the film score to the 1993 Steven Spielberg film of the same name, composed and conducted by what popular American musician? The answer is John Williams. Question 14. The sequel to his 1990 novel Jurassic Park, what author wrote the 1995 techno-thriller novel The Lost World that the second film in the franchise was loosely based on? Basically, who wrote Jurassic Park 1 and 2? The novels. Those books were written by Michael Crichton. Question 15. In Jurassic Park 3, Billy said he was taking photos of the nesting site, but instead, as Dr. Grant later discovers, Billy had stolen what and hid them in his camera bag. The answer is raptor eggs. Question 16. The only movie they've ever starred in together, what are the names of the actor and actress in Jurassic Park 3 who play Mr. and Mrs. Kirby? The answer is William H. Macy and Taya Leone. Question number 17. It wasn't for the anniversary story that they originally gave him. What was the real reason that Mr. and Mrs. Kirby need to go to Isla Sorna and asked archaeologist Alan Grant to escort them there? They're gonna go find their son. Question 18. While trying to start the engine on the boat, Alan has time to make one call with the satellite phone. 
while they are fighting off an attacking dinosaur, who does he make the one call to that ends up sending a rescue team? He manages to make a call to Ellie, Dr. Ellie Sattler. Question 19. Although he is covered in bandages and in pretty bad shape, when Dr. Grant and the Kirby family finally get rescued, who was already loaded on that helicopter waiting for them? The answer is Billy, Billy Brennan. Question 20. A consultant on all three of the Jurassic Park films, when Ellie is talking to Grant, she mentions getting a quote from what paleontologist for her book, who was Michael Crichton's inspiration for the character of Alan Grant. This is a real life guy. His name is Jack Horner. All right, that is it for today. We've got Brainy Tuesday number 31 coming up tomorrow. We're finally caught back up. It was a busy weekend, but we're back at it. Uh, I'll be posting some of the old NFL trivia quizzes on Instagram and Facebook coming up this week just because this weekend was the first NFL weekend, so this is the first Monday night football was yesterday. We got everything going on this week, Thursday night football, and then another full week, so I'll just be posting some of the links to some of the older trivia quizzes for the NFL trivia if you like sports trivia. If not, check back tomorrow. I don't think there's any sports questions in Brainy Tuesday number 31. But there is one more question for today's trivia. The tiebreaker for Jurassic Park. The original film was marketed with the tagline, An Adventure, How Many Million Years in the Making? So tell me, how many million years do they advertise in the tagline? Which is one of the best movie taglines of all time. The original film was marketed with the tagline, Jurassic Park, an adventure, how many million years in the making? The answer is an adventure 65 million years in the making. Because 65 million years ago was the end of the Cretaceous period, when all of the dinosaurs died. Little hint for tomorrow's trivia. See you tomorrow!